Nina Shen Rostogi for Sleep. When you're done washing your hands in a public bathroom, you're often faced with a choice of drying options, paper towels or an electric hand dryer. So if you want to be as environmentally friendly as possible, which should you choose, paper or electricity? The answer isn't always clear cut, but we can come up with a general rule by comparing the carbon footprints of each method. Let's take a typical warm air dryer using 2300 watts of power. If you assume the electricity comes from the average American utility's mix of cleaner and dirtier sources, 30 seconds of drying will produce up to four one-hundredths of a pound of greenhouse gases. 60 seconds? Double that to just under one-tenth of a pound. That's according to a 2007 analysis by the Climate Conservancy. Newer dryers, like those Airblade models, use less energy. And while it does take some fossil fuel to build and transport dryers, they last a long time, up to 10 years. Things are more complicated for paper towels. The raw material often comes from well-managed commercial farms, so deforestation isn't the major issue. But consider these other factors. Logging, transporting, and pulping the wood takes fossil fuels. Pulping can release harmful pollutants. And paper towels produce more bathroom trash, which needs to be bagged and transported to landfills. According to the Climate Conservancy analysis, a two-towel drying session, on average, produces just over a tenth of a pound of greenhouse gas emissions, which means hand dryers win by a nose. Of course, you could cut the environmental impact of paper towels in half very easily by only using one, although that isn't always enough to remove every trace of moisture from your hands. There is one way to lower your carbon footprint and dry thoroughly, and the only cost of that is social.